President Obama was on Jay Leno uh, this week, and he had this to say about the Snowden case in particular that everybody's talking about. You know, what I've said before, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I want to make sure I repeat, and that is we should be skeptical uh, about uh, the potential encroachments on privacy. None of the revelations show that government has actually abused mm -hmm. uh, these powers, but they're pretty significant powers. Mark, uh, Mark, what's your reaction to that? Well, one of the problems is you can't say that there's no evidence yeah. that they've abused privacy because all the evidence is classified. And so it's not out there. We don't know what they've been up to. We, we don't. Right. Now, now, I've worked in this environment, and I will tell you that the people involved, both at the NSA and at the Justice Department, tend to be fairly scrupulous about trying to protect privacy. But remember, this is, this is only one side of the argument. There's yeah. nobody else arguing on the other side. Yeah. So they may not have the same concerns, and they see their mission as to fight terrorism and, you know, at all costs. Yeah. And Chris, so, what, what is the argument on the other side? And, and so far, it doesn't feel like Americans are necessarily making it. I mean, I think we also need to understand here that it's not just something that's being used by the FBI. These tools, like every other surveillance tool, trickles down from the intelligence community to federal law enforcement agencies yeah. and ultimately to local law enforcement agencies. Mark is right that the feds usually have a, a higher standard of, of, of internal oversight. But, you know, just like there are, are horror stories you read about in the newspaper about local police abusing their authority, you know, misusing databases, spying on their ex-girlfriends or, 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 or wives, we're going to see local cops using these kinds of tools too, and they don't have inspectors general, they don't have robust systems for oversight. I mean, you know, the, under, the underlying problem here is that criminals don't use different computers from the rest of us. Terrorists and pedophiles don't use special computers and special phones. Right. So for law enforcement agencies to have the capability to hack into the computer of a drug dealer or a pedophile or a terrorist, they need to have the capability to hack into every American's computer because they don't know ahead of time, you know, who's, who's who. It gonna, right, who, who's it going to be? And, 